Sadhguru, you may not be aware of this, but in the last few days uh, after the eclipse, there have been a lot of people on social media referring to your observation that uh, food becomes unfit for consumption during eclipse. And uh, they're saying they had food and they did not die. <laughs> <laughs> Are they disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> So, they're even calling you superstitious and <laughs> unscientific. So, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Let's understand uh, what is superstition. <laughs> superstition is uh, without any perception or knowledge about a certain subject, you make conclusions. That superstition. Now, uh, the nature of life is like this. Depends how sensitive you are, accordingly, that profound is your perception and experience of life. This will not come through intellectual accumulation. Those who read a high school textbook, if they think they are scientists, <laughs> what can I say? Because uh, a genuine scientist, a scientist who has probed into any aspect of life, into any aspect of life with certain profoundness, will not speak like this <laughs> Now, as a yogi, I… as far as possible, I will never consume anything which is cooked, which is more than an hour and a half old. Why we are serving the food the way we are serving in the ashram, is uh, hoping that all of you will graduate from being yoga pract practitioners to yogis. <laughs> Not just bending and twisting, <coughs> you are beginning to feel the union in the existence. If this has to happen, body has to be sensitive and it has to have a minimum level of inertia. Now, if you eat food which in some way has deteriorated, it may not be rotten, <laughs> nor is it going to kill you, you can eat it <laughs> It is just that it will lower your perception. In my experience of life, for me, lowered perception is death at least death of the yogi. The man may live, <laughs> the yogi is dead because he's lost his perception. He's lost his sensitivity. So the death of sensitivity, if it doesn't matter to you, there's really no problem. You can eat what you want, you can eat garbage and still survive. While people are eating food that was cooked a week ago, ten days ago, Three months ago, they're keeping it in their refrigerators and eating. After eating it, they don't know what's the difference to such people, what can you say <laughs> But for sure, they cannot have the sensitivity that I'm talking about. And I'm sure they're sleeping eight to ten hours a day. That is death for me <laughs> Ten hours of sleep. Nearly forty percent death, isn't it, <laughs> in twenty-four hours. So, if you wish to live like that, you can eat whatever you want. What is the problem? You can eat anything you want. Well, I am not a scientist either, and I don't wish to be one. I don't have either books to read, nor am I researching 
anything, nor am I looking through a microscope, nor do I have a lab in my backyard. I just pay attention to this human mechanism, which is me. I kept it well, takes a lot of work, takes a lot of work to keep this well, doesn't just come. So I keep it in a certain way, and at anything that happens in nature, I observe what's happening with me, and I'm speaking that, I'm also observing the life around me for confirmation. Every insect, worm, bird, animal, tree is saying the same thing. Well, if you are going to discover this after many years and a few billion dollars of research, it's up to you. Well, I want to tell you, till recently, these so-called scientists, the real science is different. A scientist who's looked at something with profoundness will not speak this way. These are uh, probably internet scientists, <laughs> you know. They know every science, not just one, everything they know because they are on the internet. So such people were saying, I'm saying something so simple. They were advocating that alcohol, tobacco, red meat are the best things for your life, till recently. Now suddenly they've all become activists against that because somewhere somebody said after a billion dollar research, we've been saying it forever. What is a recent discovery for you has been an eternal wisdom for us. I'll tell you, I was in conversation with a doctor in the United States of Indian origin, he was telling me that he is the first one in Western medicine to identify that the heart not only pumps blood, but it also sucks the blood back. The ventricles pump it out, the atrium sucks it back. This he is the first one who wrote the papers. He sent me his videos, his TED talk, his uh, scientific papers. I looked through it and I couldn't believe it that till recently, till a few years ago, nobody in the medical science knew that heart sucks back the venous blood. Well, in the yogic system, the focus is on the atrium, which sucks back the blood. The Ayurveda speaks about it, Charaka Samhita speaks about it. In yoga, the focus is always not on pumping the blood out, but about sucking the blood back because we are interested that our blood is as pure as possible because certain level of impurity in the blood means we lose perception. We are not interested <laughs> in terms of what is the nutrition, what is the oxygen content, how long will I live, this is not the point. How do I live, what is the quality of my life is my concern. How profound is my perception is always my concern. And this has always been the concern of this culture and this science that we are referring to as yoga. So, if you think only if it's written in a book it is true, then you're very superstitious and religious, you're nothing scientific about you. You think night means just absence of light or there is a phenomenal change in the very way the life happens from day to night. You ask every insect, bird, animal, tree, even the rock, it knows night is different. If you sit here with little openness, you will know it's not just about light. If you close your eyes, even in the daytime there's no light, in the night also there's no light. But is there no difference? Every meditator knows what's the difference, isn't it? So somebody will say, this is all rubbish. There's just absence of sunlight, that's it. That's what they're saying about the eclipse. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm telling you, during the eclipse time, don't cook food and eat, uh, you know, keep it and then eat, don't do that. Eat before or after, because this is life sense, this is not internet science. 
The greatest ignorance is knowing that you're not ignorant, that's the whole problem. All the internet scientists, I please request you, eat some fresh food <laughs> Keep yourself healthy, well, perceptive, not to me, to life. Eat during the eclipse if you wish, hmm? You won't die. Inertia will build up. If you don't mind the inertia, anyway you're drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, doing things, maybe it won't make any difference for you, P possibly it doesn't. If you take a high-end car today and go and pump gasoline in any of the Indian gas stations, which is uh, eighty-seven octane, your car will stop within a few kilometers. You need to buy special gas and put it into it. Why? Because it's high performance. So if you want to be high performance, what kind of fuel goes into you, you look at it carefully. You are a junk machine. <laughs> Eat whatever, drink whatever, what does it matter anyway? <laughs> Live whichever way you want, there's really no problem, okay? So, if you are disappointed that you did not die by eating during the eclipse <laughs> I'm sorry, you're superstitious, hmm? And uh <laughs> The nature of life here is such that the earth, the sun and the moon have significant impact on this life. If you are conscious of its ways, you can ride this and make your life effortless and easy. If you are not conscious, these same cycles could crush you and everything you will struggle with and uh, you will suffer enormous prejudice within you because prejudice and resentment will make you suffer more than physical disease or pain or injury. Please don't store the stay there. Try some fresh fruits and vegetables, it could help. Whatever next eclipse comes, one eclipse you eat old food, another eclipse you eat fresh food, experiment and see.